Well, hello there, humans, hippies, earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and whoever you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it to. I'm Bushka, and this is PUBG Mobile, and today I'm going to show you a couple of crazy things. Uh, this is just a standard start at military base with people running past me and... I don't know if you just get running. Like, I don't know what he's doing, but I want to show you one of the weirdest kind of fights, brawls I've ever had, and uh, where people just keep driving cars up to my house until it looks like a used car parking lot with lots of crates left outside. And uh, I'm going to show you what I thought was a very, very strange finish. Anyway, I went from military base right to one of my favorite spots, the lifeguard tower overlooking school and Rojok and got in a whole bunch of little sniper wars, which is really fun. I got an eight times scope. There's some bloke over there with the Spetsnaz helmet. It must have been a little bit hurt because he copped that one between the eyeballs and went down like a sack of poop. Um, down there, there is also a nut, like there was just a bunch of people who are more than willing to take me on in a sniper war. And that's great fun. Tagged him once and he's gone down into that grass and mysteriously vanished. <laughs> I love the grass. The grass in PUBG is the most OP grass the world has ever seen. I know he's down there somewhere. If he just stands up again. Oh, hang on. He's keen for another dose of the apples. Oh, and we're doing a lot of the uh, backwards, forwards, sideways, left, right, forward, backwards, sideways, forwards, left, right, backwards. Uh, just getting in volume shots here. Not trying to take a lot of time with our shots. Making sure we tag him a couple of times so that we don't need a headshot to get the win, the, win, the kill. Uh, he's just zoomed right in there take our time and we get a nice body shot not anything sparkling or assassin like they're just a whole lot of thunking into the body and the legs and the limbs doing the business that way i think it pushed on well not pushed on so much but sniped on by this bloke oh look at that doesn't that look amazing that trench coat uh there's a bloke over here who started throwing a little bit of lead my way and this is just the preamble this isn't the big stuff i'm going to show you the big stuff oh there he is Whoops, well, we hit the uh, hit the edge, and then he hit the edge. We're looking around again. Didn't tag him that time. He didn't get me. Nailed him that time, but only in the chest, apparently, not in the head. Another one that wasn't a chest wound, and then we both decide to breathe. <laughs> so we're just trading. We're basically just trading hit points. This is not smart play from either of us, really. But that's Sniper Wars for you. That was a big hit, big hit with no reply. So we won that trade. Can we win another one? He's like, bugger that for a game of soldiers. That's not the way I want to go. Uh, I pull out the, uh, the... There he is. Oh, he's trying to relocate. So I know he's at least a halfway decent player because he has relocated. There we go. We tagged him again. That's it. He's had enough. He's out of there. He doesn't come back out. He's uh, like, you know what? I'm screwed if I'm going to sit here playing with this bloke. He's got an eight times scope. He's got a car 98. I've got better things to do with my time. I'll see him later in the game over at the Red House near school um just here this is where things get weird guys things get really weird i've pushed out of my little sniper spot there was no one else left that wanted to have a crack at me and i've moved over here to a house that for me has a little bit of a history this is a great spot it is a really good spot got good loot you can get on top of that roof at times if you're in a squad game and uh, the zone falls your way. You can get on top of that roof and do all kinds of nasty things. But there's a crate has landed just outside here. And so what I decided to do was just see if anyone turned up to get the crate. He was moving awfully quick, wasn't he? AE Shroud. Very interesting. AE Shroud. Nice work, mate. Thanks for the Spetsnaz helmet, the med kits, uh, and all the other lovely stuff. And while I'm here, some other bloke turns up and drives right over the top of me. Bet you he was happy about that. I don't know if you even realized I was there. Uh, why don't we have another car? <laughs> this is just insane. Like, and he actually drives off into the sunset. I'm like, right, can I get up yet? No, he's still going. Is he left or is he coming back? I'm just going to heal up here. Looks like we've cleared everything. What's in the crate? I'll have a squiz anyway. I'll take that level three vest. And then I'm going to hit back into my house. So there's four buggies here, right? Four cars here. It's like a used car lot. And I'm back inside wondering, what the hell was that all about? Like, that was hectic. Oh, hello, there's another bike coming for the crate. <laughs> we'll have you as well. Just cop that. And uh, and we come and we start overlooking again. And look at the place out there. It's like, it's so untidy. I've just spent all day cleaning up and then these clowns keep going along. I mean, I've... Yo, hello. There's another one. And another one. Get out of it. You've got to be kidding me. I've got to reload. 
There we go. There's now like six buggies and cars out there. Um, one of them's mine, of course. So, you know, fair enough for that. Uh, that's surely, there's no more vehicles left on the map. I'm going to use Car Emporium. It's amazing. Just check it out. Like that is absolutely crazy. Everyone's just rolling on in like the, like the sea. We're coming in like the tide. You'd be forgiven for thinking there were no buggies left in the area, right? But you'd be wrong. <laughs> Here we go. Here comes another one. And not just one. Like, where has that guy gone? That's that UAZ from earlier, I reckon. I'm like, okay, fair enough. You got it. There can't be any more. That's, that's got to be it. Got to be it. Yeah, there's still plenty more, man. There's another one coming in from out the back. Have a look. Have a look. Here he is. I don't know how this guy's not getting hit. He's like impervious. There's a headshot, that one. You can see when the little red X comes up on the reticle. And then, yeah, thanks for coming. There's like every car in the game is out the front of my house. Look at it. It's absolutely mental. I just, <laughs> does anyone want to buy a used UAD, UAZ, a used Dacia? I've got your money right here, baby. Uh, nine kills, 11 left. And I, I've, got to, I've got to mention something. I play really quite um, silly buggers in, uh, in solo mode because I got all my rating in squad. Uh, I got up to ace in squad. And then, oh, hang on. There's someone else here. This place is amazing. And so I take a lot of risks in, in solo mode because you get good content. You get good fun content to talk about on YouTube. Uh, and that's what I need. I really need good content because I, I want to build the channel and I want people to understand how much fun I have with the game. And I want to try and get that same joy across that I get from the game into the videos. So when we get to the final bit of this game, you'll understand why I, I push it so hard because it's... It's the fun of the game, right? You know, that it's it's where it's where it's at. Apparently where it's also at is near the crate. <laughs> There's a guy over here. It's just waltzed up. Listen, you can hear him walk around outside. He can't help it. He's gonna go and have a look at the crate. Is he going towards the crate? He can't be over there, can he? He is! Is he <laughs> get out of it! Are you insane? Who goes up to that crate? <laughs> There's six cars are looking around it! It's madness out here. There's just cars everywhere. There's boxes everywhere. Things have been on fire. Who the hell goes up to this crate with a straight face and doesn't expect to get worked? I give in. Like, that'll do me. That's humanity at its best. There's no many... There's not a lot of places left to go. So I just roll up into the house here. I'm like, surely there's got to be someone in this house. But, you know, no one there. Whatever. That's cool. I'll just hang out with my wang out looking for things to do. Uh... I come second. I gotta get that out of the way, right? I gotta get that out of the way. I come second. But, Your Honor, I think, I think I got screwed. We're gonna have a look at this and we're gonna have a little chat to you about the PUBG damage spreadsheet. The best info I have says that a headshot with a car 98 uh, into a level three helmet, right, will do um, 81 damage, okay? I swear to God, I hit this guy in the head. The crosshair goes red. So that's 81 damage, right? Even if I hit him in the head, anywhere, right? Or anywhere, like the limbs, the arms, the legs, he should be dead, right? Even if I hit him in the chest and he's got level 3 armor on, it's going to do 32 damage with a car 98. And this guy doesn't die. He just legit doesn't die. I'm going to show you. Um, it's not this, this is, uh, this is the 11th kill coming up. And I'm going to slow this down too. So here we go. Uh, we've got an Amigo coming around here on the edge of the thing. And this is something I do a lot of nowadays. If I get a shot in, I just pull back and I wait. Because people nearly always just fire again and then roll out. Like it's weird, but that's what they do. Here comes the big moment. I'm a bit filthy about this. I was going really well. This is a good game. I was coming third. Uh, zoom in with the eight times. There he is. Headshot. Red cross. Bang, got him again. That's a headshot. No helmet there. Second shot was into a no helmet area. Or, I don't know, you be the judge. I'm going to slow this down. I'm going to take a look at it. And what I think actually happened, no crazy conspiracy theories. I think that there's a little bit of latency between me and the server, 152 milliseconds. Uh, you can see that is a clear headshot. The reticle goes red. You know when you've done a headshot, the reticle goes red. 
uh, and you can see it there. And then I pop out again, immediately line him up and smack another one in as soon as I've reloaded on the car 98. I think he's got an SKS, yeah. So I think the latency is, you're going to see the head. Look, you're going to see the blood, okay? So he is hit. And this is at 10% speed, so it looks really slow. That goes into the head again. Blood. Pull back. Go around the corner. Boom. Mmm. Well, there you go, boys and girls. That's PUBG for you. That's RNG for you. And that's why we love the game uh, that we play. I'm Bushka. You're the humans. I hope you're doing well. Please like the channel. Please subscribe to the channel. Help make my Peter Pan lifestyle a reality. <laughs> by continually supporting me on YouTube. If you want to become a patron, welcome to do that too. Until next time, guys, look after yourselves and stay safe on Z Battlefield. Bye for now.